Yo guys, my name is Michael and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video for you guys. Today we have for you guys is a huge video regarding everything that you have to know regarding Call of Duty Infinite Warfare uh, this year that actually came out today. So if you, if you guys think you'll actually enjoy this video, please make sure to smash a like on it guys. Let's aim for 10 likes on this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. All the way to 250 subscribers. And uh, yeah, let's get right on into today's video. So first off, let's start with the multiplayer maps. I know a lot of people are very excited and curious about this stuff. Um, it, is, it has been confirmed in the live stream today that the game's multiplayer will have maps on other planets in addition to Earth. And there will also be a map on a space station, which is very interesting. Uh, Infinity Ward have been studying Black Ops 3's map layouts, and they said that Infinite Warfare will look a lot like... Uh, Black Ops 3 is just because of how how well it works, and what they're referring to is the like three lane map layout, as well as like all the bright colors and that stuff, which is going to be very exciting to see in an Infinity Ward game. Uh, next up, it is also added that there will be a wide variety of new lethal and tactical grenades in the game. So I, I'm very excited to see what they actually do here. Uh, if, it, if they'll be that creative, like they have been in uh, Advanced Warfare, with what Sledgehammer have been doing in Advanced Warfare with the see through walls grenade stuff like that. I don't know what they will do here, but I, I'm very curious to see what will happen. Uh, next up with the movement system, it, in a new fact sheet provided by Activision, they stated that the, that players will actually be like rewarded for actually use, utilizing their surroundings and applying strategy in the heat of the moment, and that al also maps are designed to immerse players into fast, fun, and fren frenetic gameplay that players have come to expect from Call of Duty. So basically, the movement system, it, it kind of looks like that it's going to be a lot like Black Ops 3's, and it's not been confirmed by anyone that it will be, but um, basically that, that is what it's basically looked like, which is very, very awesome. I really like Black Ops 3's movement system, and, and a little bit of a merge in between Advanced Warfare and Core Call of Duty style. Next up, we have something very interesting to talk about, and that is Zombies. That is right, guys. Today, it was confirmed by Activision that in addition to single player as well as multiplayer, Infinite Warfare will introduce an original cooperative Zombies mode that takes players on a wild ride through a new storyline with unique gameplay features and mechanics, and also that uh, Infinite, Infinite Warfare will feature campaign multiplayer in Zombies as its three core modes. Next up, we we're going to talk about the different additions that you can actually get for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and we we're going to talk about the prices also. So first off, for the Legacy Edition and Digital Legacy Edition, they include both Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered for $79.99 US dollars. And next up, we have the Di Digital Deluxe Edition, which includes Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as the Season Pass uh, for $99.99 US dollars. And uh, last but not least, we have Legacy Pro Edition, which includes Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, the Season Pass, Collectible Steelbook, as well as the official game soundtrack and additional digital items for $119.99 uh, for US dollars. And as you can see on screen, those are all the different kind of uh, additions. It shows on screen what kind of, like, on the pictures, what kind of little things you will get with them, like I just described. And uh, those are some really cool additions. I wonder if we'll actually get some other things to come in the future. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, it will be cool to find out. Uh, next up, we have the actual pre-order bonuses. That's right, guys. We have different pre-order bonuses for different uh, kind of websites. Uh, first off, for Steam, Xbox Live, as well as the PlayStation Store. If you actually pre-order, like these, like digitally pre-order these things, the uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare on these like uh, websites, you'll actually be getting. 1,000 Call of Duty points to actually use in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is a very big, uh, a very nice thing to actually gain for actually pre-ordering the game. Uh, you can also pre-order on Amazon US, as well as in GameStop in the US, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Pro Edition is also available exclusively at GameStop. Um, Activision support has also revealed that if you pre-order Call of Duty Infinite Warfare from a retailer, you will also get 500 Call of Duty points as a bonus to use in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is very, very interesting. That these are some very cool uh, pre-order bonuses. And uh, next up, we, I just the very last thing that I want to talk about is the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC packs will be available first on PlayStation 4. It looks like the uh, deal from last year that started in Black Ops 3 will be carrying on. The DLC packs will be coming first on PlayStation 4, then exactly 30 days after it will come out on PC as well as Xbox One. And uh, yeah, guys, there you go. That has been all the information for today um, regarding Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. All the information you guys need to know, all packed it into one video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thought it was helpful. If you guys did, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. All the way up to 250 subscribers. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow for some more Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.